New Year's Day is no excuse to put your camera down. I'm gonna photograph a custom-made tack box that I put all of Joe's new tack that I bought her for her birthday in. And we're gonna use indirect light using the barn door right here. Let's go. barn just about two or three feet inside the doorway provides this perfect indirect light now I have a recipe that I call 4 4 at 4 that's ISO 400 f4 at 1 400th of a second in this kind of light that works out really well let's go ahead and get started now out here in the winter time there's so much light so you have to trust that your exposure is spot-on from the back of the LCD, it almost looks like it's overexposed, but knowing that it's not, I'm going to go ahead and take that picture. One, two, and three. Perfect. Now I want to zoom in to some of those details. There we go. So first, let's go ahead and just turn it around. That'll be the easiest to get the front and the back. Then we'll just turn it at a 45 degree angle to us. Like that, what I'll do, you can tell that it's a little cockeyed, but what I'll do in Lightroom is adjust the uh, levels on that so it looks straight. Okay, now we're here with the box. We're gonna start putting in the tack. And the first thing in right here, we're going to put one in at a time and take each picture as we put the items in there. All right, Riata's in. Let's take that picture. Okay. All right, we'll take this picture, a couple of those, and then I'm going to lower my camera and get a picture of those spurs just kind of kicked up in that corner. Come in closer. Zooming out just to be able to get the bottom half of the box here with the tack in it. All right, you guys, that's it for this part of the video. Now we're gonna go into editing and put this all together.